This video shows you how to monitor the status of processes or services running in Cisco DNA Center by using the Cisco DNA Center user and command line interfaces. Services are very critical to Cisco DNA Center performance. Currently, Cisco DNA Center supports more than 100 services. Monitoring the status of these services gives you the best insight into Cisco DNA Center performance. First, let's see how to monitor the status of services by using the Cisco DNA Center UI. The System 360 view on the Cisco DNA Center UI presents information about various services and app stacks running on a particular host. It also provides a performance snapshot of various services running in Cisco DNA Center, such as topology and telemetry services. App stacks are loosely coupled but interrelated network services or applications. For example, Network Data Platform, APIC EM, and Analytics applications are some of the app stacks in Cisco DNA Center. These app stacks are mapped to a namespace at the time of deployment. Namespaces are a way to divide cluster resources between multiple users. To access the Cisco DNA Center System 360 view, click the Settings icon on the Cisco DNA Center homepage and select System Settings. In the Host section, you see the IP address of the host along with a color badge that shows the health of the host. A green badge represents a healthy host and a red badge is indicative of issues that need to be addressed. Here, you'll also see the total number of services running on the host. Cisco DNA Center supports single-node and three-node cluster deployments. For a single-node deployment, you'll see one IP address, and for a three-node cluster deployment, you'll see three IP addresses of hosts with services that are distributed across nodes. Each cluster deployment has its own IP address. To view detailed information about various services running on the host, click View Services. This takes you to the Services page. Here, you'll see the total number of services running on the cluster, the IP address of the host, and the health status of the nodes and services. An unhealthy node is indicative of a problem that you need to further troubleshoot. An example could be a temporary failure of the network connection between hosts in a multi-host cluster environment. Even if one of the services is down, the services status is displayed as unhealthy. The services table provides details such as the services name, the app stack name, health status and version of services, and links to analytics and visualization tools like metrics and logs. The services listed here and their version numbers depend on the application packages that you have deployed on Cisco DNA Center. You can hover your mouse over the information icon to review the health of the services on the host. The services can be in running, crash loop, or initializing state. Here, you see that all the services are in the running state. If any service is in the initializing or crash loop state, it indicates a problem that you need to address. To get a visual rundown of various Cisco DNA Center metrics, click Metrics. The information is displayed in Grafana, which is an open platform for analytics and monitoring. The Grafana window displays multiple dashboards with a graphical representation of resource use. You can review dashboards that represent various metrics, including CPU usage, memory usage, network usage, and file system usage. Click Logs to view service logs in Kibana, which is an open source analytics and visualization platform to review detailed activity logs. To view services on the Cisco DNA Center appliance using the CLI method, open the CLI terminal or use any secure shell or SSH client on your operating system. Log on to the Cisco DNA Center appliance with your credentials and run the magctl appstack status command. This command gives you the list of various services running along with software versions, state of services, IP addresses, and more. This is how you can quickly monitor the status of services running in Cisco DNA Center. Mm -hmm.